What's up, everybody? This is Dr. Cloud here. Welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Omega Red Nuzlocke Let's Play walkthrough. And in the last episode, we made it here to Pewter City, and we found out that there is nothing I can do, and I am going to have a rough time fighting this gem. So what I did was I went ahead and grinded up the team. So we'd be ready to fight this gym. And we're just going to start right off here. And we got Soybean, the Barrel. Still has got Damp, which is great. I There was a bunch of Mon who had, like, actually wasn't. There's one Mon, but I ended a whole bunch. It was Pineco. Kept trying to self-destruct. Soybean saved me. Great Mon. Love him. Water Gun, Rollout, Tackle, Defense Girl. And also, I didn't know that Bidoof evolved so early. It evolved at 15. I swore the barrel was a later evolution. Anyways. Then we got Beast the Charmeleon now with Ember, Dragon Rage, Scratch, and Smokescreen with Blaze. Excuse me. Then we got Felix the Flaffy with Static and Thundertruck, Thunder Wave, Tackle, and Cotton Spore. And then we have Caspian, the Bee Drill with Twin Needle, Fury Attack, Focus Energy, and Harden with Swarm. And finally, we have Evergreen, the Pidgey with Keen Eye, Tackle, Quick Attack, Sand Attack, and Gust. So I literally evolved the entire team except for Evergreen because it evolves just slightly later. And I just want to be able to get through this gym. Like, I didn't feel like that was that crazy. So, like, we're. We're going to get through this gym. I'm going to rely mainly on Soybean and Beast. And if you're lost and you haven't seen this yet and you're just now tuning in, I'd recommend checking out the last episode that will be linked in a playlist in the description down below. But for today, we're going to get this started. I might want to check on my potions. I did not think about that. I found out that it is super annoying to try to train up a Beedrill that only has Fury Attack. It's not that he like isn't strong, and also Fury Attack has 85 accuracy, which is super annoying. It was just... I really feel like I'm going to need these. Or I can get one Super Potion. Let me check the health of my Mon real quick. I want to see if anyone has like even close... They do now. Since they evolved, they have close to 50 HP. So we're going to buy one Super Potion. Yes. We'll have two Super Potions. We're going to be extra safe. I'm going to get closer in here because like, it's going to get intense real quick here. <sighs> okay. We're going into Fight Rock. We got this. I feel super underprepared, but like... I raised it for round up 16 because like I literally lost Zora because I was under leveled and I don't want it to happen again. Oh cool, he has like uh your Oh hey. You're ten thousand light years away from facing Brock. That reminds me of the Pokemon Origins episode. Yes, Origins. Where Red goes and fights him and they say the same thing and Oh man, that was, that was such a good series. Like I actually wish they would have made it last longer. Cause they jumped around like a lot at the really like important parts in the story but i would have enjoyed seeing it step by step because it, it's such a they just did it so well like i was honestly surprised whenever it came out i didn't even think i'd enjoy it that much well maybe i did over level a little bit for this gym but I was, because, like, Soybean here didn't even get Water Gun until he evolved. And same with um, Beast didn't get Dragon Rage until he evolved. So, like, unless I evolved at least two members who would I obviously would have used in the gym, I would have just lost completely because we all had normal type and fire type attacks and flying. He's got a rock rough. You know, I wasn't paying attention. Does he have... Um, my mind's blanking. Does he have six mon? 
I'm going to see right after this rock rough because it's going to get blown away. But he starts with a 13. Obviously this thing's going to get one-shotted. It's an Alolan Geodude. Okay. So he probably has Thunder Punch. But it doesn't really matter. And then he 100% has Onyx for his last Mon. Sorry guys, I really love the gym music. It's just solid. I feel like gym music through the generations has definitely just kept up. Like it hasn't gone downhill at all. Man, that was just such an uneventful battle. Like the old and Geodude came out and it was a little bit scary. But he got blown out of the water. I will really try in the future to not be so over leveled. But in this case, it was very necessary. And I want to see who can learn Rock Tomb. Because I really didn't want to end the whole lock. It's Rock Slide now. And Beast can learn it. I don't think that's for the best right now. Yeah, your special attack's way higher. Um, I want to fidget really bad because I am super tired right now, even though it's only like 7.30, but for my job, I have to get up super early in the morning. Okay, I don't care what this girl is saying. I just want to raise up Evergreen so then he evolves. Ooh, dang. It's Focus Energy. I don't even know if it crit me, but that did a lot of damage. And I did not see what's coming out next. But it is super gone. Okay. I just want to raise up Evergreen. Evergreen needs his chance to evolve. Do I have a team of all males? No, I've got two females. We're fine. Soybean's just a little bean. Okay, I don't really want to do a double battle. I'm going to try to, like, jump through this because I also really want to get the, um... The Magikarp. That's what it is. Bulbasaur has Harden. That does not seem right. I wonder if the other guy has... And this one has Withdraw. I wonder if the other guy has, like, Water Starters. Huh. No, he has Birds. That's super interesting. Ooh. So one raises... Ooh. Actually, I'm worried it has quick attack. Um, seized wing attack. So, who has the best physical defense on my team? 27, 30. So, it looks like you. Oh, yeah, we ate that. Oh, and now you're paralyzed. You're gone. That's GG right there. Oh, that's all he had. You Yet his, like, double battle partner had two mo- a shiny stone. Interesting. I really need Evergreen to evolve. Like, that- the stats of a Pidgey, you're just killing it. Does- does Rufflet have good stats? Like, I know Braviary has pretty good stats, but does Rufflet? I also kind of want to check how much money I have now that I'm thinking about it. I definitely have enough to get that Magikarp. I don't really want to deal with the animations.
you know, it's almost to the point where um, it's better for me to use tackle on most things since Gust is special and Pidgey has terrible special. I could see where that would be useful. But is Sand Attack more useful? I feel like Sand Attack's more useful. Okay, what's next? A Butterfree? Let's, let's see how this goes. I'm very hesitant. Let's, ooh. I see you, Butterfree. Okay. Okay, we're definitely not going to beat this thing, and I just about killed Pidgey. So we're just going to go into field. Oh, I did find out um, that poison does go away in this game when you reach 1 HP. Wow. This is going to be a trying time. Says it's literally next to nothing. Oh, nice. Okay, we woke up first turn. And you're definitely gone. Yep. And that should bring Evergreen up to level 17, right? No. Did he already hit 17 and I missed it? Nope. Wrong thing. Hold on. I really hate how it covers the level. He is level 17. It's very annoying. Like you could have easily put it off to the side and it would have been fine. Now always remember guys, if you ever have the chance, always run back to the Pokemon Center rather than using items because you're saving a bunch of money and you're only losing a little bit of time, especially whenever you have access to speed up like this. Now, I will say it's a little bit of a different story in a versus, because if you think you can make it, then you go for it, and that's going to ruin me. Uh, you know, let's try a Dragon Rage. Wow. Things are just super annoying here. Man. I'm just trying to get through here and everything wants to just put a status condition on me. You want to poison me? You're going to put me to sleep? You're going to paralyze me? Just calm down. Yeah, let's see what quick attack does. Okay, we're going to go for another one. Ooh, that just said a Vika Volt. Okay. Um, your water type. Electrics resisted. Pretty sure electric resists electric. Pretty sure. But I don't think it's re anything on Vikavolt resists bug. That's so scary. Let's go for the twin needle. Nice, we get the poison. Okay. Okay, how much does Spark do? Did 21 and paralyzed us. Okay. Okay. Please, please cast me and hit. Oh, it only hits twice. I'm dumb. Okay. Literally, all I need is someone to take this next hit. So all, it, all Felix has to do is just take the spark. That's it. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. I don't know why they think it's fine to put a Vikavolt in here already. Like, I don't even think it evolves into Chargebug. A Grubbin evolves into Chargebug yet. Like, it seems a little bit ridiculous. Okay. I'm still a little afraid to leave Evergreen in here being unevolved, so we're gonna throw in soybean. 
And we're going to rely on rollout here. Uh, that did more than I really wanted it to, and now I don't feel comfortable going for rollout. Thank you. Ooh, that was a crit soybean coming through. Oh my goodness. Thank you, thank you. Evergreen should evolve after this battle. Now, is this next thing going to be something we can just... Okay, we can body that. Thank you. Okay. I don't know why you have a bunch of, like, final stage mon and then you have a Kakuna and not a B drill. Okay, we're just gonna... Nope, you're done. Yep. Now let's get this evolution go 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 win. Mm. Let's get it evergreen. I wonder if he's gonna learn a new move now that I think about this. I mean I'd be super down. Hmm. Hey, you know, I was thinking about this. Um so for those of you who have played Sword and Shield, I'm sure you've noticed that like the evolution animation you can't tell what your Pokemon's going to turn into. Like, it doesn't show the silhouette at all. And I realize there's an issue in that whenever it com comes to um, evolving an Eevee, because you have no idea what it's going to turn into. And that can be a problem whenever you're trying to get, say, like, Sylveon. Because, like, I promise I'm good at articulating, just not right now. I'm very tired uh, because whenever you actually get a Sylveon you have to like do the Pokemon camp thing and a lot of what you do in Pokemon camp also raises friendship as well as the meter whatever it's called for um, for uh, how you get Sylveon I'm not sure what the meter is really called for that but um and once you go to evolve it, like, if you have, like, that maxed out stuff for a Sylveon, you'll probably get it. But as far as I know, there's no way to actually tell if you've gotten that far and maxed out your, uh, it's not happiness, what do I want to call it? Uh, let's say affection. You max out your affection with, uh, your EVA to get Sylveon. But what if you've also maxed out your friendship? Because you can't see that either. So, like, what's telling you what it's going to evolve into? You're just kind of guessing because you can't see it. It could easily evolve into Espeon or Umbreon as well as into a Sylveon that you actually want. I don't know. I just think it should be a little bit more clear about um, what you're evolving into. I think this thing is a fairy... Nope. That's fine by me. Oh, that's all she had, wow. I was trying to avoid getting an encounter at the moment. Um. Did, did that guy just give me a litten? He just gave me a litten. Huh. Okay. Uh. I don't really know what to say to that. Um. Uh, what, what do I say to that? Like, you just casually just gave me a lit and, like, I. I don't trust that way. I'm gonna go up here, because I'm. Oh, man. Oh, there's a Raikou now, okay. So we've seen Entei and now Raikou. I thought we were gonna have to like fight our rival or something. Okay, there are a lot of Geo dudes around here. And there's a random house here now? I 
wonder if I can slip behind this house and find a hidden item. Yep. Person berry. Pretty sure that heals confusion if I remember right. Oh yeah, no, actually I have six mon again, I forgot. So it seems like this is gonna be a game where you get a lot of gift mon, considering they've already given you two. Okay. I mean, in a really good mon, like I kinda wish that I didn't already have a Charmeleon, because having both a Litten and a Charmeleon isn't the best because it lets you get bodied really easily, especially going into a water gem right now. So it's very possible, depending on what we get around here, that, um... You know, I didn't think about this. Is Magikarp really a smartest choice? Like, I'm really thinking about this as a randomizer where you get a random, like, static encounter, but this isn't that at all. <sighs> um... I mean, I don't guess I don't have a. I do have a water type. Never mind. You know, we're just gonna leave that there, and possibly in the future, like if we run out of encounters, there's a free static right there. Okay. Name reader. Interesting spot. Okay. Oh, they added a Mart here. That's so smart. Okay. Uh. We're gonna buy one of each of these. Cause you just never know what can happen, so it's always better to be prepared. Learn the Boy Scouts. And yes, I did do Boy Scouts, you heard that right. Did Cub Scouts too. It was a fun time. Although uh, as an overall, I'm fairly happy that time in my life has ended. I think I was very much ready to uh, move on from that time. You know, I'm thinking now I could probably change the name of the uh, lit. Okay, we're finding myself 21 Pokeballs. Let me see if I can. Nice, we can. I'm gonna call him Charlie. Charlie. I meant to do that higher. Ch Charlie. Charlie the unicorn. That's definitely what I am talking about. Not anything else. Okay, let's get this encounter for this Route 3. Did I fight him? Something. Okay. Route 3, it... No way. It's got Intimidate. That's a Changma. Oh. That's amazing. Please don't have Dragon Rage. That's fine, you do you, bro. I am so baffled right now. Okay, let's go for a tackle. Nice. Nice. That's fine. Go for your protect. You know, if we get to... I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull out the, the little notebook I got. Okay, use it by it after I pick tackle. So we're just gonna go for Cotton Spore again. Okay, it's fine. We're just gonna drop its speed down all the way 
just in case anything else needs to come out. Is this thing's only attacking move by? I don't feel like I thought about that till just now. Nope, I'm not. I'm not doing any more damage. Nope, I refuse. Th this is definitely a great ball moment. Okay, come on. I can't believe I just caught that. Like, it didn't feel that hard to catch, but, like, if it's encounter, not encounter rate, um, you know, I'm gonna call this thing Valentine. That's an awesome name. Is Valentine spelled E? Yes, I'm pretty sure. Uh, if it's, uh, pfft, catch rate is normal, then it's normally, like, super low. So that's, like, a super surprising catch. But if it's been messed with, then not as great, but still pretty great regardless because it's such a good mon. We're going to put this thing on team right now. We're going to go ahead and trade out Litten, unfortunately, because... Actually, I'm going to write in both of them real quick. Hold on. So let's see. Got another static. That was a litten. And then on root three, we got a jangmo. Those are both great on for the day. Did I nickname the Jangma? Yeah, I did. I named it Valentine. That's right. Short-term memory loss. I'm sorry. It's, it's going to be a consistent thing through this whole game. I promise you. And we're... Oh, oh. It's like that. It's like later game EXP share. Got tackle okay it's not completely like worthless so if that's how the exp share works can i turn it off oh it wasn't active okay interesting i know jangmo doesn't evolve for quite a while but i can already i already know it's gonna be well worth the wait an Aeron? Aeron solid. Okay. I know Aeron's special defense is Butterscotch. So I gotta watch that and not use Thundershock on him. Oof. You know, actually, I think we will... Yeah, we're going to go for it. Oh, okay. I think we're going to be all right here. We will obviously have to watch the um, headbutts. I don't think I can hit this thing again. Mount Moon. Air on. We're just gonna go for the uh, blah, 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 Pokeball. Uh, da, da. My mind's so blurry. Ooh, okay. Oh, it's got Metal Claw already, too? Still watching that headbutt. Okay. Come on, let's go. Pokeball, Pokeball, Pokeball. Pokeball, Pokeball, Pokeball. Mm. No sparks. Let's go. There it is. There's an EXP share experience. Mountain. Mountain, mountain, mountain. I'm trying to think of a name off that. 
I'm just going to call him deposit as in like a deposit of minerals inside a mountain. I think he actually is going to stay in the PC for now. That's energy ball. That's so early to get such a good move that no one can learn. Um, okay. So I think it's going to be best if we go ahead and end this episode here. Um, we didn't do too much today, but I think we actually made some nice progress in the game. We went ahead and beat Brock. We made it to Mount Moon. Got some new encounters, some pretty great ones, honestly. Rounded back out the team. So I think this is a good enough spot to go ahead and call it. So... If you guys enjoyed today's episode and want to support me and hopefully uh, see more of me if you actually like me, but it's okay. I know you do. But until next time, I'm going to keep saying it. Up, up, down, down, forward, back, A, B. I'll see you guys next time.